it seems like I've been making a lot of very complicated recipes lately. For example, if you saw my ghetto peri breast recipe on YouTube, you saw that I had to break that down into two parts because the video was so long and complicated. I want to do something easy today. Ice cream. Now I've made ice cream before using a mix, Nestle's Quick Chocolate Milk Mix. There's a recipe in the archive, there's a video on YouTube. I got the idea for this ice cream because I had, I had to drive down to the other warehouse store down in the city and they sell a mix down there that I used to buy until it got too expensive. But I thought, I wonder if I were to make ice cream out of that. That ought to be really good. So what I'm gonna make today is vanilla chai ice cream. Should be interesting. Now first we have to jump backwards in time to last night. Yesterday evening I assembled the ingredients and then I put together the custard mix with which I'm gonna make my ice cream. You don't have to do it the evening before. I did it out of convenience. I'll explain all that when we get there. So let's go back and look at the ingredients that I'm going to use. I have six large eggs here because I need five egg yolks plus one whole egg. Then I need about one cup, which is about 200 grams of my vanilla chai. I stopped buying this years ago when it climbed up over $10. Now it's nearly $12. And this is another reason why I stopped buying it. This is brand new. I bought this today. I didn't take anything out except the silver liner that was in the top. And that's what you get. A little more than half a can of spiced chai powder. This is vanilla chai. They also had spiced chai. And you can use that too, I suppose. I haven't tried that yet. But nearly $12 for half a can of this. This is not something I would spend money on often. Then I have one and a half cups, which is about 350 milliliters of milk. I'm actually using half and half. And then I have one cup, 235 milliliters of heavy cream. So those are the ingredients. I'm using to make my vanilla chai ice cream. First thing I want to do here is combine my milk, or in this case, my half and half. There are my five egg yolks and my one whole egg. And my chai powder. And then, because I thought it might be fun, I put a whisk in my electric drill. I mean, we're making ice cream here, so this is having fun. I can even increase that speed a little bit. Not too much. Oh, that was fun. I feel like what's his name on Mythbusters. Okay, so now there is my chai mixture. I have water heating on the stove. I'm going to set up a double boiler because I want to cook this into a custard. So as I said, I've got water heating. I'm going to rest a second pan inside. Not much water, just enough to just touch the bottom of that pan. And I'm going to pour my custard mixture in there. And I want to cook this, bringing it up to a temperature of uh, between 140, 145 degrees, close to 140. The reason why I'm using a double boiler is because I very much reduce the risk of cooking those eggs and ending up with a chai scrambled egg mixture here. So there it is, just over 140 degrees. That's 141. My last step now is to Stir in my heavy cream. This didn't need to be heated. And I was using the milk just really basically to heat up those egg yolks. So now 
this mixture, this custard mixture is ready. It's not really a cooked custard and it doesn't have a real thick consistency to it like a cooked custard. But this is the kind of custard mixture you need to make ice cream. So now I'm going to cover this and put this in the refrigerator overnight. I wanted to show you the basic components to my ice cream maker. This is the motorized base, this is the lid, and this is the paddle for churning the ice cream. And this is a canister that you store in the freezer for several hours, 24 hours is best, to get this super cold. And this is what's going to chill the mixture as the paddle churns the ice cream. I've assembled my ice cream maker with my paddle inside, my lid on there. This is the mix that I made last night. You don't have to make this the evening before. I did it and let it chill in the refrigerator overnight purely out of convenience. I could have just put this pan into a large bowl with some ice water, made an ice bath for it, and chilled it down that way. I wanted to get this mixture down to anywhere between 40 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 4 to 16 degrees Celsius. So that it's cold enough that my canister can freeze the ice cream rather than a lot of the time be used for chilling the mixture. So I want to get my canister started. Get, get it rotating first so that if the mix goes in and starts freezing right away, it won't jam the churner to the canister. And then pour in your ingredients. Before I put the last of that in, I want to stir up and get any solids that are on the bottom. And then finish pouring that in. Might as well get it all in there because it's going to be so delicious. This has to churn now anywhere from 10, 15, could be 20 minutes. I like to see the ice cream start to come up near the top of my case here, my cover. And that's a good indication that it's done. It's going to expand a lot because what you're doing in the churning process is you're working air into that mixture. Otherwise what you'd end up with is a solid frozen block of ice milk, flavored ice milk. So let's let this go and then when it's done we'll come back and see what kind of ice cream I ended up with. Here's a little trick that I wanted to show you. I have this tea cozy that I made many, many years ago and it just fits perfectly over the top of my ice cream maker on really warm days when I want to keep the cold in to help it to work more efficiently. I'll put my tea cozy on there. You don't have to do this, but it's a little trick that I enjoy doing. And there is my timer. This has been going for 20 minutes. Let's see what I've got. Oh, look at that. It's coming right up to the very top. That's exactly where I want it to be. You can see how much that has expanded. I'm going to turn this off. This is my ice cream container. I bought this container just for storing ice cream. I put that pad down so it would make less noise. And now I have to go through the process of getting all of this out of here. This is a little bit messy. You can see how soft it is at this point. This does have to be refrigerated for a little while so that it'll be a more solid, not completely solid, but obviously a better consistency, closer to ice cream. So this takes a while to get all of this spooned out of here. This is great if you've got kids. They can lick this thing. It has no sharp edges. At least not knife sharp. Okay, that's close enough there. And then I want to get my ice cream out of this canister. You want to kind of work quickly because this canister is really cold. If you wait too long, it'll really freeze a lot to the inside of the canister. 
and it'll be hard to take out. Put my lid on it. And then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for at least an hour to let it finish chilling up. And then it'll be ready to taste. So there is my ice cream after being in the freezer for actually several hours. There are plenty of sites on the internet that say that the ideal temperature at which to serve ice cream is between 6 degrees and 10 degrees Fahrenheit, which is minus 14 to minus 12 degrees Celsius. What I did was every once in a while, 30 minutes, an hour, I would get in there and turn the ice cream around and redistribute it to kind of get it evenly cold. And then I've got a chilled bowl here that I've had in the freezer. So, I'm going to scoop some ice cream into there. Like so. And then we'll see how good that tastes. There it is. Now this was a total invention on my part. I have no idea. I've never heard of vanilla chai ice cream. So let's see what this tastes like. Oh, wow. That is so good. I mean, it tastes like, well, vanilla chai. It's supposed to. Mmm. Okay. That is delicious. Excuse me, I'm going to go enjoy my bowl of vanilla chai ice cream. and my chai powder. And I put that in a very tall measuring cup because I want to combine that. And yeah, I'm going to use my electric drill. I thought it would be fun. I'm making ice cream, so this is to have fun. Ah, it's on me.